Hello and welcome to Web Design and Development course using HTML5 and CSS3. This is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS3. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. The prerequisites for this course are the following. Sublime Text Editor and a web browser. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. Now let's move on to our lesson. Section 10, Getting Your Site on the Internet. Lesson 10.3, Search Engine Optimization. In this section, we'll take a look at what we should do to get our website recognized by search engines. However, bear in mind that the goal of a good web page is quality. We should not be writing our articles for search engines, but for people. If we care about what we're saying and care about our audience, then this will be far superior to someone just trying to make a fast buck. Meta Tags a category of HTML tags that we can add to the head section of our web pages are meta tags. Meta is short for metadata, which means information about the data on your web page. This meta tag has the attributes name and content. The name attribute can take a lot of values, but it is used in conjunction with the content attribute the keywords in your page text. Search engines work by scanning the text and images on your web page. They then try to work out what the page is all about. To make sure that a search engine gets it right, you can tweak your text to remove any ambiguity. For example, suppose your page is about black widgets if you have discussed widgets but not black widgets, then a search engine won't know that this page is about a specific type of widget. So your keywords here are black widgets. In an article that's 300 to 500 words, we should mention the phrase black widgets about once every 100 words. Don't overdo it though. A search engine may penalize you for keyword spamming if you mention black widgets too much. Submitting your site to search engines. You don't really need to submit your site to a search engine anymore. They all have bots that crawl the entire internet 365 days a year, 25 hours a day, analyzing your contents. Google, it is said, will find and crawl your site in about a month and then crawl it again every month. If you can't wait, then Google allows you to submit the first page in your site. Links back to your site. One thing that search engines do count is how many other sites are linking to yours. When you are just starting out, the answers will be none. The problem is that it has become really difficult to get a link back to your site. The traditional way to get a link is to email an owner of a website and ask if they will link to yours. Expect such emails to be deleted immediately. Social media Rather than spending all your time trying to get links from other sites, it's probably better to promote your site via social media. This means sites like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, etc. The idea is that you create a social page on these sites and let everyone know about your site. On your website, you can then add links back to your social media pages. These links are once visitors can click on if they like your site. The more likes you get, 
the more popular your site will be. For more details and classwork in this lesson, please check Google Classroom. Thank you.